I want to show you a tool that helped me to take off the, the crankshaft pulley out of a 2002 Camry V6 engine. And this is a piece of the garage opener rail. And you can see that I slightly bent the ends. And uh, I used this to remove a very stubborn bolt, bolt on a pulley. Usually, this is a 22 millimeter bolt. Usually, a high torque impact gun will take care of it. In my case, it was not possible. So, I had to block the pulley, and for that, I used this little tool. Now, what I did was get a couple of metric bolts, and these are 8 millimeter M8 bolts, 50 millimeter long. And these bolts uh, fit the thread, fits right here. Everything is metric because that's a Toyota. And I also put, uh, under the bolt, I put a couple of sockets. And these are 3.8 sockets of the same height. This is important, of the same height. And you put the flat surface, the surface that has more flat, uh, closer to the bottom. And then use this as spacers uh, for this tool. So I'm going to screw the bolts and show you what it looks like. Now these bolts are uh, semi-tight and they will prevent with the spacers made out of sockets, they will prevent the pulley from turning. And then I had to use a breaker bar with a cheater pipe to be able to, uh, to move this bolt. Uh, but it worked. And I also used the tool for the timing belt pulleys, and I'll show you in a moment how. For the timing belt pulleys, I'm going to use the same arrangement, the same bolt, 50 millimeter long, 8 millimeter, and I'm going to uh, put it this way on my tool. However, on the top of it, I'm going to put a washer that is slightly bigger not too big, but slightly bigger diameter than the, uh, than the socket. And if I attach it, attach it this way, and then put an 8 millimeter nut on this side, and this applies for, to both sides. And now this has to be tightened up pretty good, so the socket part doesn't move or bend gets out of the way. Now if I have two of these on both sides I can stick this in a timing belt pulley and prevent it from turning when I tighten it up. Now this is the timing belt pulley. Now imagine that we have both sides prepared like that, and I can squeeze that in here, and the washer will prevent it from slipping as I tighten this uh, this bolt right here, 17 millimeter bolt, and the torque here is pretty high. This is the piece of hardware from the garage opener that I used, as you can see here. You might be able to get this as a scrap part from garage uh, people, those who work on garages, fix springs and stuff like that. Or you may just save one from an old uh, garage opener, uh, but it worked like a charm for me. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching. Bye bye.